Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I show it to you on how to set up a brand new Windows 11 without signing into your Microsoft account. Some of you may not like to sign in with the Microsoft account, meaning that they will synchronize with the OneDrive, with your Microsoft, Microsoft, um, Microsoft Office account, things like that, and you try not to sync your desktop, your pictures, your document, everything up in the cloud. So you like to set up your brand new laptop or brand new desktop computer as a standalone individual without syncing to the cloud. And how do you do that on a brand new Windows 11? Let me show it to you and let's begin. So here you can see that I have a brand new um, HP laptop. So let's go ahead and take it apart. It is still in a plastic wrapper. Now in this laptop here, it doesn't have the Ethernet port. So you can see this is just a charging port to USB on one side and the other side here, it does pretty much um, HDMI output, USB-C and the lighting for the hard drive and the power. Here is the auxiliary jack for your headphones um, and the SD card reader. So the first thing I like to do is to show it to you and turn on the laptop. And let me tilt the screen so you can see it. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the laptop here. This process here would apply for Windows, um, sorry, you apply for any desktop or any laptop. Um, this is just a brand new setup for Windows 11. So let's go ahead and begin. What you want to do first is to go ahead and click yes, accept. So I'm here in United States. We'll be accepting United States. I'll be using US keyboard settings, the layout. Do you want to add a second keyboard? No, I'll skip it. Here, it would automatically ask you to sign into your home Wi-Fi or your office Wi-Fi or any Wi-Fi around you. Um, to bypass the screen, you can see that there's no X, no back, no cancel. Uh, the next is here waiting for you. And it's just telling you, please go ahead and start connecting to your Wi-Fi. So one thing you can do is to get this here. This is the USB to an Ethernet connector. The reason why I'm getting this because the laptop doesn't have the Ethernet jack. I can't plug in any Ethernet cable here to bypass the Wi-Fi screen. So if you have a desktop, you can plug this one in. If you have a laptop that has the Ethernet jack, you can just plug it directly straight in do not connect to the Wi-Fi, all right? Just do not connect to the Wi-Fi. But for my case, my laptop doesn't have it. I'll be using an adapter for this purpose. All right, so let's go ahead and connect this together and I'll be connecting it to the USB. You see how we are connected and it shows the Ethernet number three. And what we want to do is click on this and now we have the next button blue and ready to be clicked on. It was gray all this time. Now it's blue. So when you click next, you will say checking for updates and whatnot. Now here is where you want to disconnect the, uh, the USB. As soon as you're able to click the next to, the, to this screen here, it's checking for updates. You can go ahead and disconnect the, um, the Ethernet if you have a desktop, if you have a laptop Ethernet, you can disconnect right away. Um, but for my case, I'll be using the adapter. So disconnect that 
and you get to the next screen and this is the screen where it says please review and agree with the license agreement yes i agree and you can name your computer right now what i'll do is i'll just do jl and do i want to put a password i'm not going to put any password to this just a standalone uh, privacy settings you can read through them location yes find my device yes you can turn it off if you want uh, but for this video purpose i'll just by default and click everything to yes and accept this is the hp wants to registration with your uh, privacy statement uh, I do not want HP here. You're not using my information. No, my contact. Uncheck everything. Click next. And you'll bring me straight to the welcome screen and straight to the, um, to the window screen. And I'll do a restart and I'll show it to you how it looks like the next step. it looks like the uh, setup process may take some time here so let's just keep the patient and wait a little while i'm not sure if i really need to plug in it may be too smart and not right i mean it may be too smart and recognize it is not plugged in so i can go past the screen Hopefully that's not the case. Well, that's not the case. You're just taking some time. All right, there you go. So I have a Windows 11 here. And uh, as you can see that we are not signed into the account. So you can double check by verifying, clicking the start and go to settings. So in this system right here, it is not registered with microsoft it's just a local account and you're not signed into microsoft account so um, another next step is if you restart the computer it doesn't ask for a password if you need a password you can set up one for yourself uh, i just wanted to show it to you on how to bypass that microsoft sign in screen and go straight to um, um to the standalone here so once the computer is restart i will just turn it off and um and yeah and we are done so as you can see it doesn't require sign in it just goes straight to your user profile the user screen and this is a standalone computer it doesn't require um sign into microsoft account and yeah it doesn't collect your desktop data your documents data um, your pictures data it doesn't do any of that so um i prefer to be standalone versus logging into the microsoft account this is just a personal preference um, i hope that this video helps if you find the video is helpful please go ahead and click the like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell i really appreciate you for doing that um besides comment below i'd like to hear from you 
uh, what are your thoughts and how do you do it and were you able to follow along my video and get it done so comment below i'll hear from you until next time bye now